Okay. Yeah, it's like I can't work the stopwatch when you start. <laughs> well, okay, now I got you. <laughs> okay. Good evening, everybody. Thank, thanks for having me. I, I'm honored to be here, and I'm, quite frankly, I'm honored to be your mayor. Um, I'm going to stray a little bit from the usual campaign speech and tell you that we are in an economic and environmental crisis here in Pensacola. And I'd like to tell you a little bit how I've been involved in this and some of the current situations. Let's go to the environmental first. Um, I am very pleased at this point how the city of Pensacola areas are, what I'm saying, buttoned up with booming. I know many of y'all are very concerned about Bio-Tahar, and we've had some double booming there. We've had some absorbent booms, and I have pushed very hard, and I'm so glad to see it finally worked out, to put booms around those very fragile grasses to the south of the railroad trestle. So we're doing pretty good. We've got a few areas over by Port Royal that still need some attention. I think we're going to get those done in the next um, a couple of days. But overall, we're pretty well protected. The booms aren't perfect, but we think for now they're about the best we can do. And of course, we need more assets out in the Gulf to capture that oil before it ever gets here. On the economic side, our small businesses are in trouble. When tourists don't come, the business stops at the beach and in our restaurants and in many of our service industries. And there is an enormous trickle-down effect that affects, quite frankly, every one of us in this room. So what I have done, and you may have seen some of this, I have gone on every national television show I could, every state show, every local show, to say, look, Pensacola is open for business. We are not being affected by a tidal wave of oil coming in our Gulf. That menace is offshore, and that day may come, but for now, come to Pensacola and save our small businesses. I have also tried to steer our small businesses towards the Small Business Administration and also towards the claims process, which we're trying to refine now that we've got the $20 million Evergreen Fund that the President um, approved. So we've done that, and I hope I've done as mayor what you have wanted me to do, but also what we've done is forge some relationships um, during this entire situation, um, I have met, of course, with the governor and our senators and our congressmen. And as you may be aware, I had the opportunity to sit down with the president of the United States and tell him what I thought we needed in Pensacola. So we're working very hard as your mayor on this particular issue. But let me tell you one thing. As your mayor, I know to keep my eye on the ball when it comes to neighborhood issues. And your East Hill Association is so important on many, many fronts. One bio to har. We've got to keep the stormwater projects going to protect our um, environment there. We've got to get Bayview Park looking good. Miraflores Park looks great now that we've got Home Depot to help us decorate it. Cordova Square, we cut the ribbon on that, my goodness, just a matter of, of months ago. And of course, Lakeview, we've been working on many of the strategies for paving and patching, and we even now are looking at the cedar trees. I would point to prune some of those. So y'all have a lot of issues, and I pledge to you that I will be there for you insofar as your neighborhood issues are concerned. Finally, let me say this. We're going into a new form of government, a strong mayor form of government. And people say, Mike, what's going to change? Everything changes. Because in January, whoever is sworn in as mayor is going to be handed the key to City Hall, and they're going to say, time to go to work. It's all yours. You're in charge. It's going to take experience, it's going to take knowledge, it's going to take enthusiasm, it's going to take stamina, it's going to need a knowledge of the system and a knowledge of the people. <coughs> because you now have a $200 million budget with 800 employees. I think I'm ready. My business experience, my governmental experience, my education, I think puts me right ready to go to take over that job because the new mayor's got so many things to take care of. Police and fire, parks, libraries, air service, you name it. So many things to address, and I really feel that I am ready for that, and I look forward to that service. Thanks again for having me today. Y'all are a special group. Um, I am honored to be your mayor, and I look forward to your support. Thank you very much.